Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of my Hardcore Series. I'm your host, Willow. Glad you glad you came. I'm glad you're watching now. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, as we do in every single one of our Hardcore episodes, how about a little update time? Now, let's see what we got done here. First of all, let's do this. Let's do this. And let's do this. Let's go to free cam. Now, in free cam, as you can see, we took care of this little part here. So I got all this set up. Like I told you in the last episode I was going to do. We got all this set up so now we can travel straight across here. Straight across there. Straight to the village that's over there. And anywhere else that we want on that side. So this cleans it up. Made it all clean. Now, if you also will notice that the sugar cane has gone and the wheat has gone and all that stuff is gone. So let's come over here. Over here, as you can see, I added the sugar cane. So we got a little sugar cane farm going right here. So manual, there is no automation yet until maybe we go into the nether, which we may do that today. Also, if you come over here, we got a nice potato carrot field going on over here. And I was thinking, wait a minute, in the village, there are farmers. So why not make some crop to trade with them and get some more uh, emeralds? Makes sense, right? So that's what I did. So that, And we also have a little path right here that goes and gets attached to this path. And over here also, as you can see, I cleaned up this path here a little bit. Because it was so busy. It looked so busy to me. This looks a lot better than what it was. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. Don't get me wrong, ladies and gentlemen. It's not 100% perfect. Because, hmm, as you saw in the intro, we got... Let's come in here to the house. Right? Now, where did I put them? Uh, over here. Nope. Over here. Yep. So, we got pointed dripstone. Which means, you know it, we can make mud. Mud. Mud bricks. Mud variants, all kinds of muds. And that, pack mud. What else can you do? Oh, and any of the mud, we got to cover, including if we have to, we use that to make um, clay. Clay means that we can make bricks. And maybe, maybe just thinking here out loud, not sure yet, but I may, uh, let's go to free camp once again, maybe somewhere over here, maybe, or maybe over here, I'll add a chimney. To this house i'm not 100 sure yet uh if not maybe in the next house but with those we'll be able to get the clay and make clay balls clay balls bricks perfecto now like i said with the mud mat pack mud i may change something to that pack mud uh i'm not 100 sure yet but we'll see but for now this looks a lot better than what it was also if you can see i did bring the other horse here and if you Beautiful people, be so kind as to leave a name down in the comments down below for this horse because we have Scout here, and this beautiful steed needs a name. So please, by all means, do that. Now, what else are we going to be doing today? Now, uh, I've been gathering some materials. Oh, and I've also been fishing. And like I'm, like I told you before, anything I do off camera and game, I put it here and show it to you so that you can see. And as you can see, I was fishing. So we got a name tag, so now we can name Scout. We got this uh, enchantment book here with fire aspect and fire protection. We got a bowl from breaking, puffer fish we can use for potions, as well as fish, lily pad, some boots, a bone, and a bowl. So I did that for a little bit, right? And let me get rid of this stuff I got on me too. No, nope, over here. Let's get rid of that. Let's come over here. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Come over here. Let's get rid of that. Ooh, all the junk you collect when you're doing uh, other stuff, huh? Now, let's put this over here, too. We don't need it. Now, as you can see, I found pumpkins, right? But, 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 okay, but if we go this way, and I found these by accident because I'm really, really looking for them, but we come this way, come around here, past a little farm here, right? Around here somewhere. And where did I see them? I think they were maybe over here. Let's see. Maybe over here. They're around here somewhere. Let's see. Where would they be? No. Oh, ah, they're right there. There you go. We got ourselves some pumpkins. So let's cut this up. All right. Now we got pumpkins. Right now, I mean that pumpkins. We got watermelons, right? So now that we have get out of the way, you. Now that we have melons, and we have the pumpkins, 
Now we gotta find a spot here to uh, make a, a pumpkin melon farm. Now again, not automatic because um, we don't have that uh, ability just yet. So I may hold off on that and see maybe I make an automatic one. Not a big one, a small little one. I mean, this is a solo world. I really don't need a lot of stuff. Uh, but uh, yeah, we could try to do that. So let me put these away. And in the next clip, I'm going to show you what I've been working on as well. So give me a sec. Okay, let's go this way. Now, this is what I've been thinking. Um, I said that we were going to build something here. And here it is part of what I've been thinking. Uh, let me show you real quick. Now, on that side by the mountain is the village. And of course, over there is the farmland. So what I'm thinking is, since this ship is here and sunk, we should make a port right here so that's exactly what we're going to do today right we're going to build part of the the port the dock right? as you can see i got stuff here i got this set up here i have the cutter anyway let's go over here so th this is what i've been thinking right i'm thinking that this area here is going to be the port right now we'll build this as the main like the dock here and then down there to be the dock where the boats come in and they unload. But this will be the part where, you know, machineries and stuff like that. Maybe the, you know, get the cargo off the boats and stuff like that, right? Now here, it's going to be the circle part of, let's go to free camera, it be easier. Circle part of the pier. And then here, across again, is the pier, right? In the middle of this pier here, I'm thinking I'll build a little, uh, maybe a little temple, a little, uh, pyramid and on top of the little pyramid I put the nether portal right so in theory as law would say right the portal is there because people from other parts of the world they travel to dimensions they come to here and they come to visit this area here which is going to be like a harbor a port okay so we got the, the farming area over there we got the village area over there and all this over here is going to be some kind of um, harbor city or port city, okay? And then what I'm thinking is between the jungle and the forest here, I'll make this like the, the commoners area and then towards the back here where the jungle kicks in, this will be more where the wealthier, uh, the noblemen will be living at. So you have your commoners living in the front, those who work at the dock area, all right, and then those who have more nobility will be living out there. Now, if I'm lucky and I survive long enough, this will be a really nice area. And maybe over here I'll build something like a, a huge mansion or a castle or something. I'm not quite sure yet, but again, only time will tell. And let's see how far this series goes. But for right now, these, this is my game plan. So what I'm thinking is, since this is already set up, right, more or less, and we're gonna have to take it. Oh, sorry. Let me get out of here. That was no bueno. And I got some of the materials here already set up. Okay. What I'm thinking is, where is it? Oh, it's right there. I think I'm gonna take a nap after the sun goes down a little bit. Got some stuff here. As you can see, get some andesite because we're gonna need that. And I need the polish variant. Okay, might need some more of that, just to make sure that I got enough. Okay, and with these, let's, let's, these are stones, some of the chisel, okay, and I'm going to start this up uh, across, around, and over, and everything in between. So, what I'm going to do is this, wait till the sun goes down, so we can start working, and, you know what? Tell you what, let's do this in a time lapse. So, um, let's go.
Welcome back, me amigos, from that time lapse. Now, as you can see, most of it uh, of the skeleton is done. Let's go quick to free cam. Now, as you can see here, this part here I will do off camera uh, because uh, I misjudged how long I was going to make this, and I don't have enough uh, stones for it, or enough material. My apologies for that. And here is what I'm thinking is going to be where we're going to put the nether portal here. Now, what I'm also thinking is that maybe, maybe, and I need you to let me know in the comments down below if I should make this whole base here, right, for the portal, copper. Now, let me explain to you why. Because we are supposedly in an ocean, right? And salt water makes the copper turn green. And I'm thinking that the base should be copper. So, I guess we get the oxidized green version of it with the portal on top. I think it's going to look cool. Uh, I thought of it after I built this base, but I wasn't quite sure. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And uh, we can always fix that. Now, also, uh, all we need to do now is put the portal right here. So, um, so here. Nope. Not in my inventory. It's got to be on the boat. Let's get this. Oh, yep. Here, let's get some of this. Uh, this is why I was thinking about the copper. Uh, we'll see what we can do about that in the next uh, episode or whenever I get to it. Uh, you guys are going to have to let me know. Also, uh, one more thing. As you can see, there's two pillars there. Each one of these will be pillars. But right, let's go back to free camp. As you can see, the pillars go all the way down to the base on the floor of the ocean here, right? So the, all these pillars are going to go straight down and going to get all the way to the bottom and also the side walls. I'm going to try to do as much of it all the way down to the bottom. I'm not quite sure. Uh, may not do it all in one shot, but little by little I will. So the whole, this whole pier be complete all the way down to the bottom. Now, that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's go this way. Now, here is what I'm thinking where the pier, the wooden pier is going to be. Now, also on the outside of the wooden pier will be wooden beams also going down to the ocean bottom. Okay, this is where everybody be walking back and forth working unloading the stuff from the the ships well up there be um uh originally i was thinking about putting cranes and stuff like that but but uh because it's going to be used for visitors to come and visit on and off i think i'm just going to make it uh no machinery up there and everything will be up here on the piers the lower piers down here now also in between the pillars I'm going with this design more or less. Let me know what you think in the comments down below with some mossy stone. I mean, stone bricks, stone bricks here, cracked stone bricks. And just give it that feel of a little indentation here with some steps on the side. Now, I may, mm, maybe around this one here, cut through. So you'll be able to cut through from one side to the other side right there. And also in between, uh, you can put some store some stuff out of the sun, like some perishables and stuff like that. So... I may do that there, uh, but, uh, you know, start to take shape. Like I said, all this I got to push back and start working on here. Also, uh, let's go over here. Climb over this one, and this one, and this one. Come, me amigos, come, 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 come. Now, I also will build a second pier here with a, a, a stairs going down. To the beach area so the people can go and hang out at the beach. I will do the same thing on that side. Make a pier over here. And access to the beach as well from that pier as well. So uh, this is not going to be the only The only difference between those piers and this one is this one has the stone pillars. Those will have wooden pillars uh, like uh, regular docks will have. This one on the other hand will not because like I said it visitors from other locations of the world will come here and if this is the first thing they see into um the harbor while well, there may be a ship here there may be a ship here and then the pier behind it and another pier behind it you know i don't know quite yet what i'm gonna do but that's it but what we're gonna do here is let's put this here All right And voila. Woo! That hurt. There you go. So, I'll put something here, some slabs, something here. Uh, maybe push this out a little bit more because now it's come to think of it. It's not quite 
lighten up, or maybe what it should have done is, you know what, let's do that. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to move this down one uh, to here, so I don't have to do anything else. So give me a quick sec. Okay, my amigos, look. It looks a lot better now, okay, and it looks a little taller too, so it gives it that nice, you know, elegant. So this, like I said, this is the first thing they see, the visitors will see coming in to our harbor city right here. And I think it's going to be fantastic. Like I said, this part here I'll do off camera. Now, the only thing needed is to light it up. And let's see if it works. Woohoo! We're in. We are in like Flynn now, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, it's loud. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time I have for this episode. I want to thank you for coming here. Thank you for being here. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button because it helps the channel out. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, from my hardcore series, I am Wello. And if you do me one slight little favor, which I forgot, smile. For that's what I'm here for. Put a smile on viewers' faces, one viewer at a time. Until next time, goodbye.